come on in everyone come on in because we are here for the braxton sh season one we are talking about now all the drama going on off screen with the video that just got released uh i guess 24 48 hours ago 24 hours ago with the fight between kevin senior and kevin jr if you haven't checked it out go on over there and check it out at um I think the, the person, the, what they call them, professional tea spillers. Is that what the official name of it is? Professional tea spillers, Jasmine Brand, released it. But all the other bloggers that picked it up, they show in the video. Go to anybody's channel. I'm not going to show the video here. I'm going to let y'all go to anybody else's channel and watch it. I saw it over on a vlogger's name, Jamie, that's me. I thought she did a really good job. She broke the video down. She stopped it. She chopped it up. She lets you listen real carefully. She got them real good ears. Um, and that's what I needed as an older person. I need the video stopped and I need to be able to listen and hear because it's not that great of a quality of a video. And um, they're trying to hide people's faces, I guess, so you don't get, you know, in trouble showing people. Um, but this is what I want to talk about. Do y'all think it's a coincidence that in less than 24, 48 hours or 48 hours, after Kevin Surratt Sr. did the interview with um, Sherelle's World, that this video was dropped about Kevin Sr. You think it's a coincidence? I don't. I don't. Uh, you would think that uh, Kevin Surratt was about to testify against Diddy the way they are already showing up in his front, front lawn, ready to baby oil him to death. This is too much. Uh, this is what happens when you go against the allegiance of the family. This is what happens. Um, I don't know who I don't know who released this video, but I know Kevin Surratt knows who released it because he knows where he was at that time and he knows whose ring camera that was. So he already knows who it is because he knows what house he was at and he knows who released it re released the ring camera footage. And it obviously was some type of event. Uh, because it was like some makeshift tent set up in the backyard or front yard. You know, when you have a party and you're going to have a lot of people over and you need some extra covered space. So what you do is you put up a tent and then that way um, people can have a good time in the tent. So more than likely, this was taped a while ago. I don't know. It looked like winter. It didn't look like summer. I don't know. Do y'all put up tents in the summer in Maryland? Maybe because of the mosquitoes. But there was a tent up for the party. So I don't know. I feel like it was quite a while ago. I felt like this video was quite a while ago, but maybe not. Maybe it was here in the summertime and y'all got mosquitoes. You got to put up the mosquito tents. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how old the video is. I know some of you know. Let me know how old this video is. But it doesn't really matter how old it is. The fact of the matter is it got dropped. And um, whoever dropped it, you know they dropped it for a reason. And let's think about this. I did a video yesterday on 25 years of hate that all this kerfuffle between Kevin Sr. and the Braxton family didn't start over this funeral. I hope everybody realizes now that this beef with Kevin Surratt isn't over this funeral. If any of you guys have watched Braxton Family Values back in the day, 7, 8, 19 years ago, they never liked Kevin. This is just a continuation, right? And dropping this video on Kevin Surratt after he did that interview uh, with Sherelle's World, in which he didn't really sully the name of the Braxtons, like I said. He really didn't talk bad about them. He just told what his truth was. And if it contradicts, it contradicts. But like we know about the Braxtons, they demand allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the Braxtons family. That's what they expect. And the minute you go against them, I guess a goon gets sent to your house. Like I said, I guess a goon gets sent to your house and evidence comes out. But here is how you know how bad the hate is for Kevin Sr. This is how you know how bad the hate is. Because you released a video on Kevin Surratt Sr. And your intended purpose was to make him look bad, make him look like an abuser of his son, make him look unloving, make him look uncaring. And I'm not going to condone violence of any type. I'm really not going to condone any violence. But in your quest, whoever dropped the video, 
to make Kevin Sr. look so bad, guess what you actually did? You made Kevin Jr. look really bad. And this is really what I've been talking about with this whole show. What this whole show has done is that it has exposed people that Tracy loves. Tracy has loved on her son and her husband. And whatever this machine is over here that is out to destroy Kevin Sr., what they're really doing is they're really destroying, trying to destroy everyone that Tracy even loved, which is the junior and the senior. Do y'all remember this scene from The Color Purple? Do y'all remember this scene from The Color Purple? I should have locked you up and she just let you out to work. The day you plan for me is the one you're going to ride in. See, you get in the car, get in the car. Everything you've done to me, I've already done to you. And there it is, because that's really what's going on. There's an old saying, a hit dog will holler. For all you young people out there that never heard it, it's an old saying that a hit dog will holler. And that means when I strike an accord on you, you're going to holler. You're going to have to do something. And that's what this video is. This video is that something. This video that got dropped on Kevin Sr. is a hit dog hollering. That's what it is. Now, I know a lot of people probably feel that Kevin Sr. is wrong in um, whatever happened with his son. It definitely sounded like it was some hands being laid on Kevin Jr. Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know where y'all are from. I really don't know where y'all are from, but I'm from California. And um, I know California, people think California is all nice and everybody out in California is soft. But let me tell you, there is a rule in California, and that is you don't roll up on no one um, that you know you can't take. Um, and I'm going to tell you something that Kevin Jr. rolled up on his daddy. And I don't know what family y'all from, but I'm going to tell you a little bit of my family. Ain't a, no way in my family with the men in my family, including my husband, that a young son is going to roll up on a daddy at a party where that son has been drinking and maybe mixing drinking and medication and is going to come at the father aggressively, which is what Kevin Jr. did and not think he's not going to get checked or at the very least, he's going to get restrained and put in a chokehold. Now, I don't know what family y'all are from, but I'm going to tell you about my family that typically if something kicked off like that, guess who would have been there to stop that? Tracy. And what I'm saying is that Tracy protected Kevin Jr. a lot. I said this in my video about 25 years of hate. It's why the sisters are so mad at Tracy because what Tracy did for 25 years was she chose her family and she protected her family and although this video was being dropped to make kevin senior look bad what's really starting to happen is we're really starting to see how much tracy protected kevin jr kevin jr has some problems and his problems didn't start with his mother's passing it did not it started before then that's why that wife is divorcing him that's why he had those charges against him that's why he lost custody of that child. These things going on with Kevin Jr. were before Tracy passed away. But what was going on in the family is Tracy was protecting the son. I talked about this before when they kept saying Kevin Sr. was jealous of Kevin Jr. And I said, I don't think he was jealous. I think what he did was he knew his son. And he knew his son in that his son probably wasn't ready 
for the type of attention he was going to get from doing this show. That's what I think. But I think in the protection that Tracy gave to her son, she also wanted to protect her son by giving him something that could also help him financially. And that's why she gave him the rights to his likeness. You see, it's two diverging points of views. And if any of you've ever been in a marriage or in a marriage and you have a husband and you have children you're raising, this is common. This is common that a mother wants to coddle, a mother wants to nurture, a mother wants to take care of, and a father wants the son to grow up. The father wants the son to grow up because the father doesn't want the son living around him when he's a grown man. He wants the son to grow up. So I would imagine that during Tracy's and Kevin Sr.'s um, marriage, there probably were a lot of fights about Kevin Jr. And if there's some tension between Kevin Jr. and Kevin Sr., that's why Kevin Jr. is upset. I know a lot of you keep saying Kevin Sr. is jealous of Kevin Jr. Even Kevin Jr. said it. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This idea of rolling up on your daddy, getting in his face, screaming and yelling. Sounds like he made the first aggressive move towards Kevin Sr. Kevin Sr. retaliated. He defended himself. A lot of people must think that a grown man got to get hit by another grown man. I don't believe that. I don't think a grown man has to get hit by another grown man, just like I don't think a grown woman has to stand and get hit by her daughter. I don't. In fact, there's laws against it. It's called elder abuse. So any of you saying it's okay for a 30-year-old man to roll up on an elderly man, Kevin Surratt Sr. is now considered elderly. Um, I believe he's over the age of, is he over the age of 62? He's protected status. Um, Kevin Jr. could be back in jail for that too, because let me tell you, you don't do that. You don't, I don't know where y'all do this at. I don't know where y'all do this. I don't know what families you do this in where you get to roll up on people yelling and screaming in their face. Oh, you know where they get to do it at the Braxton family. Cause that's what they do. They roll up on people. They yell and they scream. You remember what Tracy said, you make it so hard to love you. This is what goes on in this family. I'm telling you, this is such a generational, multi-generational issue. We are now in another generation. We've been talking about just Miss Evelyn and her daughters, but it is spilled over to the grandkids. Look at Kevin Jr. He's got to be mixing alcohol and that seizure medication. He's got to be mixing it. I heard some really horrible story that Michael Braxton Jr.'s daughter unalived herself. And that another daughter he has also has estranged herself from the family. This is, this is, this is um, generational. This is deeper. And whoever thought that they were going to post this video of them fighting so that they could get back at Kevin Sr., really what they did is they made Kevin Jr. look worse. And what they did was they exposed areas of Tracy's life that I don't think Tracy wanted people to see. She wanted to protect her son. She hid all this. She hid all this. She, did, she wasn't exposing all this about Kevin Jr. But guess what? Now it's here exposed. All because someone has 25 years of hate. And what they want to do is they think they're hurting Kevin Sr. And really what they're doing is they're hurting Kevin Jr. And they're hurting the legacy of Tracy. So nice try. Nice try whoever posted it to think I would change my mind. I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing my mind one bit. And like I said, I don't condone violence. I really don't condone violence. But I'm going to tell you, if a 30-year-old if a person who might be drunk and mixing uh, medication rolls up on a man, I don't care if it's his father or not, and pushes him or uh, gets in his face like Kevin Jr. was doing, screaming and le yelling, uh, he's going to get at the very least restrained. He's going to get restrained. Maybe there'll be a more level-headed mother that will come in and say, hey, son, don't do that. Hey, baby, go over here. There will be other people. But when you got just two people left alone in a mosquito tent at night, that's maybe both of them were drinking, this is where you get. And the reason why I know Kevin Jr. was coddled because he should know better than to do this. He should know better than do this. He's used to his mother intervening for him 
And now his mother's not here to intervene for him. So here we are. If you listen to what Kevin Jr. was even mad about, he was mad about that you said no, you said no, you said no. What he was talking about, if you really listen to the tape, and this is why I like the one I saw, Jamie, that's me or something. What Kevin Jr. was saying was, when I asked you, could live, live in our house? And then he said, in the condo, you said no. So first of all, let's say this. This now brings back my memory of to Kevin Sr.'s interview yesterday with Sherelle, because Kevin, Jr., Kevin Sr. said that when Tracy got sick, the, the family, the mom came and stayed downstairs in the condo. At the time, I was thinking, I thought, Tracy and uh, Kevin Sr. had a house. What's he talking about downstairs in a condo? What I'm believing now, y'all, is that Kevin, that Tracy and Kevin's house where they lived had a downstairs apartment or living quarters. And so when the family came and they stayed, that's where they were staying, downstairs in the living quarters. And they call it the condo. See, I was confused because here in California, condos are real condos. But it sounds like what they're saying is, they got like a little makeshift uh, living quarters, like maybe a mother-in-law suite or something downstairs where, you know, you have separate access. You can come and go as you like. You got your own bathroom down there. Sometimes you got a little kitchenette. And so when I hear Kevin Jr. on this tape saying, when I, you said no, I asked if Liv could live downstairs. You said no, you said no, you said no. Um, this is what Kevin Jr. is crying about that at some point in time, he must have gone to Kevin Sr. and said, can live, live downstairs. And Kevin Sr. said no. But at first, when Kevin Jr. was screaming and yelling and crying, you said no, you said no. Kevin Jr., I mean, Kevin Sr. said, you want to know why? You want to know why? And Kevin Jr. didn't want to know why. All he was doing was, was throwing a tantrum that he didn't get what he want. And he was also upset that Kevin Sr. wasn't acknowledging that he told Kevin Jr., no, Liv can't live down there. Now, if you notice, Kevin Jr. wasn't asking, could he live down there? He was asking, could Liv live down there? And um, what Kevin Sr. then said was, that was before... Your mother had cancer. So I don't know when this video was recorded, but whenever it was recorded, it wasn't talking about a current moment in time. It was talking about before Tracy had cancer. Kevin Sr. was exasperated. He was like, why are you rolling up on me at this event in this mosquito tent after you've been drinking and mixing alcohol with your medication and you talking about with me to something that happened before your mother even had cancer. I don't want to talk about nothing like this. Kevin senior is fed up with this son. Remember, this is the same son that's been on the television show talking about I'm a Braxton. I was born with the Braxton name. You was, you just married into it. He's the one getting on TV talking about my father is jealous of me because my mama left me everything. Well, obviously she didn't leave you everything. She didn't leave you no house to live in. So, I, you know, this is what I'm saying. Kevin Sr. is exasperated over this son. And I suspect he's been exasperated over this son for a long time, a long time. But Kevin Jr., has been protected by Tracy, which is what we know Tracy did. Tracy protected her family. She protected her husband and she protected her son. And now what we have is that son is dealing with not having any protection. So he is now victim. He's now getting, he is now becoming victim to all the things he's helping create in his life. You got the aunts manipulating him and taking advantage of him for his ability to control the rights of Tracy's legacy, right? And now he's running over here, run up on his daddy. And now Trace is not here to stop his daddy from putting him in a chokehold. Okay. So he's over here telling Kevin Sr. You said no, Liv couldn't live down in the basement, the condo. 
And he and as Kevin Senior saying, Do you want to know why? Um, I probably know why. Because probably what was going on, because this was before Tracy was even sick with cancer, is uh Liv and uh Liv and Kevin Jr. might have been having marital problems then. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows if they were having marital problems even before Tracy passed away? And maybe this was going to be a way in which Liv could come live in the basement apartment. Maybe they didn't want Kevin Jr. living there. Maybe they were tired of them living in their house. Remember, if y'all remember Braxton Family Values, there was many of conversations when Tracy and Kev Sr. were saying, Kev Jr. and Liv, they got to move out. After they had that baby, they were like, they got to move out. They wanted Kev Jr. to step up, become a man, become a father, become a husband, and he just couldn't do it. And so here he is, years later, right? Because what's the story? What's the timeline? I think someone told me um, Tracy got diagnosed with cancer in 2020. And uh, you have now, let's say this video is new. Let's say this is a new fight. Now we're talking about 2024. We have Kev Jr. bringing up something that went down with not only Kev Sr., but his mama too. Because think about it. If Kev Sr. is saying you were asking before your mom had cancer, then it's just not on Kev Sr., I'm pretty sure Tracy had a say in it too. Tracy didn't even have cancer. Tracy was alive. She was well, which means at the time that the decision was made to say no to um, Kev Jr. about Olivia living down in the basement condo, it wasn't just Kev Sr.'s decision. It wasn't just his. Tracy made it too. Tracy was probably also trying to move and usher her son into adulthood. But here we are four years later, five years later, talking about it like I said Kevin Jr. was right when he said I was born in Braxton I got the Braxton blood in me you got the blood in you all right because here we are holding a grudge holding a grudge for years uh Junior don't let this grudge last 25 years we are already on year four or five of it four or five don't become a real Braxton and let this grudge last 25 years because right now, you're looking bad out here. You're looking bad. Do I condone violence? Do I condone what that father uh, put hands on his son? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like when violence happens anyway. But I'm going to tell you, if there is going to be some violence, if there's going to be some, then it can be when someone puts their hands on you. That's what I'm going to say. Because um, I don't know who out here who was, is told to take a punch to take someone pushing you, bullying you. You can walk away. That is what people should do. The first option is to walk away. But when I saw that video, what it looked like was Kev Jr. was all up in the face of Kev Sr. And then they start putting this little logo over the pictures. But what I'm going to go off is the conversation. And what I hear Kev Sr. say to Kev Jr. is, Oh, there you go. There you go. Now, here you go. That's what he said. Now, here you go. Because what he was saying was, I see you starting to get more aggressive towards me. I see you coming up on me. I see you entering my space. I see you doing a little bit too much. Here you go. Then what I hear Kev Senior say, oh, you want to do this? You see, I, I know what that looks like. I don't know where y'all are from. When someone says, Oh, you want to do that? Let's do it. Someone says that when you have made a move on them that clearly shows you want to fight. That's what you say. Oh, you want to do this? You want to fight me? Then let's do it. And then what happened was Kev Jr. with his mixing of the alcohol and possibly his medication, uh, he got taken down by his daddy. He got taken down by his daddy. That's what happened. He challenged his father. He thought his father wasn't going to do nothing. His father did something and he got taken down on the ground. And after a while, it looked like he was getting slapped by his daddy. That's what it sounded like. Um, 
Kev Senior, you could have just um, body slammed him on the ground. <laughs> you didn't have to bitch slap him. <laughs> Sound like Kevin Senior was over there bitch slapping uh, Kevin Junior. Uh, Kevin Jr., Senior, you went a little bit too much. But I'm all for the chokehold. I'm all for the restraining. I'm all for the body slamming and taking him down. When someone rolls up on you and like that, I'm all for it. Some of you might be mad I'm saying it. Some of you might be mad I'm saying it. But I don't know about you mothers out there. Put yourself in the context of your daughter. Or would you let your daughter roll up on you and hit you and chest bump you and put her finger in your face? I don't know. Maybe some of you mothers will. I won't. Absolutely won't happen. Won't happen. So basically what happened was Kevin Jr. came in there, rolled up on his daddy and was writing checks he couldn't cash. That's what it is. I, there's really no other way to look at it. But I know he learned now. I bet he won't ever do that again. I bet he will never do that again. And it really is sad to see Kevin Jr. in this state. It is sad to see that this show is exposing Kevin Jr. in a way in which Tracy never exposed Kevin Jr. even on the Braxton family values. She would have never wanted this. She would have never wanted her son to get exposed like this. Because these issues with Kevin Jr., I'm telling you, they, they didn't just start... They did not just start with, with uh, Tracy's passing. This has been around a long, long time. So um, whoever dropped the video, congratulations. I guess you thought you were going to be making Kevin Sr. look bad. Um, and what you did was to carry on the 25 years of hate, uh, you took the chance that you would make Kevin Sr. look bad. But really what you ended up getting was you ended up getting making Kevin Jr. look even worse. That's what I think. And I really hope, I really hope that these sisters are not tied to this video. I really hope so. I really hope that this isn't any more of their get back. I did a video yesterday. I talked about how this whole show is a get back. I really hope they're not tied to this um, because this would be a really, really low point. But Kevin Sr. knows who it is. He knows whose house he was at. He knows whose ring camera that is. Okay. He know who, who, who downloaded the ring video and, and sent it out. He knows who it is. And uh, he can deal with it on his own. But I, what I, who, who I really hope it's not. I really hope it's not any of the sisters. Please don't look like it is any of the sisters. Um, if it is, somebody's going to need to put an end to this. And I know Tony likes to pretend or say she's the big sister. Then she needs to step up because this role that Tony's been playing, the one that's always on the road, always touring, always filming from a Bentley who wants to be so hands off um, because she's afraid to go up against her sisters um, because she's pledging the allegiance. No matter how wrong things go wrong in this family, Tony says, I want clean hands. I don't want to be involved in it. But you trying to not be involved, Tony, and stay out of it is just as bad because it's going on. You're watching it. You're seeing it. You're trying to turn a blind eye. You see what I'm saying? You're turning a blind eye to it. And you, you got to stop turning a, bl a blind eye to it. It's not enough to say that I'm not going to engage in it when you're really kind of part of it. You all are part of it. And I can't really trust that Trina's going to do it, or I definitely know Tawana's not going to do it because Tawana is a pot stirrer. And um, uh, Tamar doesn't have enough clout in the family. She's too emotional to do it. The mama's not going to do it because she's the genesis and the origin of all this crazy behavior. At this point, the only hope is for Tony. So Tony, if you are the leader of the family, as you say, then you might need to step up and put your foot down and say, this has got to end. You might need to even issue an apology video, come out and apologize that the show did not produce the, the, your intent. There needs to be an apology video because right now what's happening, this war out here where we're, they're going to keep releasing tapes on Kevin Surratt senior to try to make him look bad. But at every turn that they're going to make him look bad, it's going to just make them look worse. And remember, I don't think they have as much, as much video on Kevin Surratt senior as we have on these Braxton's. We got seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years worth of video on them. I mean, all we got to do is Google and pull it up. It's a lot. It's a lot. I might do another video on it because there's so much footage out there. So they'll, they will lose the war. I'm going to tell you right now, Braxton sisters, if you are behind any of this, you will lose the war. You may win the battle, 
but you will lose the war because there's just too much more tape on y'all than there probably is of Kevin uh, Sr. Like Tamar said, go back to jail, Kevin Sr. Okay, Kevin Sr. has been in jail. We know Kevin Sr. is a Mason too. So another reason why Kevin Jr. shouldn't have rolled up on him. He a Mason and he been in jail. <laughs> Woo, Kevin Jr. better learn. He better learn. Uh, sometimes your daddy whoop your butt so you learn not to be rolling up on people in real life. Y'all remember them lessons? I'm going to teach you here so that you don't get the lesson taught to you in the real world. Because here I may just bitch slap you, but in the real world, somebody might kill you. And what Kevin Jr. needs to learn is you don't roll up on nobody, period, point blank. You don't roll up on your wife. You don't roll up on your child and you don't roll up on your parents. You don't roll up on anybody. And what we already know is Kevin Jr. has had to have restraining orders put on him. So he likes rolling up on people. So you know what, Kevin Sr., hopefully you taught your son a lesson, a lesson that maybe you couldn't teach him when his mama was alive because his mama was protecting him. But maybe you taught him here. Don't roll up on no one because is you might get more than bitch slapped. All righty, that's all I got, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.